Now news from Karnataka. Polluted and dying lakes, demolition drives to save them that resulted in angry residents and officials in trouble. This is the story of Bangalore's water bodies. They've been drawing attention in the recent past to all these. Rampant building on lake beds has reduced the catchment of water, adding to pollution. For now, the demolition has been stopped, but commercial structures are still being brought down. It's also clear that there's been no clear policy on saving these lakes. Maha Sharma reports. Puttanhalli in the south of Bengaluru, Banaswadi in the east. Areas that have recently seen bulldozers bringing down constructions that were too close to lakes or right on lake beds. The Lakshman Rao report back in the 1980s had recommended what had to be done to save and revive the city's hundreds of water bodies. It looks like nobody was listening. The city's main majestic bus stand is built on what was a tank. The National Games Village was also built on wetlands. The government's Bengaluru Development Authority, or BDA, has formed layouts on at least 14 lakes. Wherever the lakes and wherever this uh, BDA has uh, given permission and allotted sites, in turn, allottees have uh, constructed the house and uh, we are not going to touch that now for the, for the time being. We are awaiting the report of the House Committee, especially constituted to go into the, the details of the tank and the encroachment. The government also says that many of the lakes listed were already dry when construction started and should not be considered lakes anymore. The government we are thinking of bringing one legislation where all these abandoned lakes are there. This is as per the Lexman Rao report long back. He has listed existing lakes, lakes which water is there. There are many lakes, are no water, it has abandoned lakes. Such lakes are also existing in Bangalore city, whether we can delete from lake list. It's about 80 lakes in Bangalore we are monitoring. And almost all lakes, there is an encroachment. See, the pattern is that people start dumping the solid waste, you know, then they put the building debris, etc. Once that stabilizes, slowly they start putting the road and uh, they build one temple. Then eventually the temple will have road. Then eventually you will see the influential section of society occupying the, the lake bed. This is a serious thing. Bengaluru used to have hundreds of life-giving lakes. Most are polluted. Many are unrecognizable as lakes, with construction having come up, perhaps at a time when environmental concerns were not taken quite so seriously. But what is the excuse now? The city needs a clear policy going ahead to save its precious water bodies. Maya Sharma in Bengaluru for NDTV.